Tonight, the Portland Public School Superintendent just announced the district will be using new funds from the state to then bring back 74 teaching positions they originally planned to cut in their proposed budget for the next school year. So we sent Elise Haas to that meeting tonight to keep us updated on the changes, and I guess this is a big change, Elise. It definitely is, and it came late in the night, and I'll tell you more about it soon. But parents came into this meeting very upset because originally the superintendent's proposed budget had planned to cut 88 teaching positions. And for weeks now, they have been urging the district and telling the district that their students now more than ever need more teachers, not fewer. So vote no on this until you put teachers who are frontline and students first. 30 groups of parent teacher associations from across the Portland Public School District banded together, speaking up at the school board meeting Tuesday night. 33 kids in a class when these kids had been in, you know, learning in the time of COVID. They want to be seen by their teacher, and in a class of 30, they can't be. In a class of 20, yes, they can. The PTA parents are saddened by some high class sizes for next year. They wrote this letter urging the school board to amend the budget and restore the cut teaching positions. We are advocating for the kids, and for me, advocating for the kids is advocating for our teachers who are teaching in probably one of the hardest years that they've ever, ever had to teach in. Meanwhile, PPS district officials have previously told me next year's enrollment is down by more than 3,000 students, meaning less state funding now and in the future. We need PPS to come through with figuring out a way to make sure that we have as many bodies in the buildings as possible. I mean, there really, there is, there's no excuse. And so the big news ended up coming after all of that parent testimony. And it was that the superintendent said that they had an extra $9 million that they got from the state and that they will be using it to bring back 74 positions. That is going to be for elementary teachers, education assistants, counselors, and special education teachers. So that news tonight came as a huge relief to the teachers union as well as the parents who were packing the house. Now, the board is still deliberating and going over the final details, and they have not yet voted on approving the budget, but that will happen within any moment now. So I'm going to continue to monitor that meeting and bring you another live update at 11 o'clock on Coin6 News. We're putting live Elise Haas, Coin6 News. Man, we'll